I'm gonna clean a bit up tomorrow to be honest because you know I've been saving it for the day before I go to the airport because that's strategical because then I can get to the airport with a clean shave no hair because I don't like shaving when there's just like a tiny <gasps> bit of hair Short I like to wait let it grow a bit and then shave it all so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna keep the goatee and we're gonna shave it all day before the airport makes us look less makes us look less like a terrorist we're gonna be wearing the Pac-Man shirt so we look more like a tourist. I'm thinking about using a sombrero as well. I got one last time I was a target. And then we're gonna breeze through the airport security without being accused of trying to bomb anything. And then we're gonna head straight to the motherfucking studio, collect our PCs and start to stream, boys. Listen to this chat. Last time I was at BlizzCon, imagine this. You guys see every day when I play, as soon as I lose a game, like you guys saw now, we won like five games in a row. Not a single person came to my chat, said GG. That's never gonna happen, right? Now. On the flip side here, last time, imagine this, imagine this, you're at BlizzCon, you have never played Heroes of the Storm, ever. You're sitting there, 5v5, three people in your team has never played Heroes of the Storm before. You're playing against goddamn Faker, they smash you, like, record speed, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, like, imagine, this is a Blizzard game, like, everybody's a winner in Blizzard games, and still, we lost, like, pretty much instantly because we're so bad, okay? They come to our side afterwards and fucking hit us with the IRL GG, bro. Like, let me tell you, the last week I've been getting flagged, emoted, spat on, whispered, AOE spat on. If you guys don't know about the AOE spit, this is how you do it, slash E spits on you dot. There you go. Now, I AOE spat on this whole room, you know? Some people have even posted screenshots of beating me and linked it in chats. Some people even take that a step further and do it in donations, okay? But still, it doesn't come as close as going to BlizzCon, getting fucking molested and then IRL GG'd by a bunch of goddamn kids, okay? I swear, this seems to happen every time I'm in the US. And I really don't know if people from the US are just the best trolls ever, or if they're actually the most sportsman-like people ever. It's one of the two. Like, I'm from EU, so naturally in EU, saying fuck you, you're dog shit, is like saying good morning in Europe, okay? So... I'm always skeptical when all these people are super nice to me. They're like, just, yeah, good game, nice try, man. Yeah, you played really well, but our comp is busted, you know. All that shit, it just makes me a little bit skeptical in general, you know. And every time I go to, the, to NA, something like that happens. Where it's like, I don't know, is he PMing or is he genuine? And it's just like, fuck, what do I do? Thank you for the five, uh, the Arcane Failure. And that is true. What is up with all the Canadians, dude? Actually... But I've met someone who potentially was Canadian and was super fucking rude. You guys want to hear the story? You guys want to hear the story? I was flying home from BlizzCon last year, okay? Now, first of all, Canada, I got to call out your country right off the get-go. What the fuck is up with requiring a visa for people in transit, okay? I nearly got stuck there. I nearly missed my whole flight because... I had to go on my mobile phone at the airport and fucking fill in a visa to land in Canada for an hour and then fly to a different country, like fucking Germany or some shit. First of all, I just gotta stop you guys right there. Second of all, what the fuck is going on with the TSA in Canada? Like, what do you guys are? You guys are glorified mall cops. That's what you are. You're not gonna bust the next fucking Heisenberg Short boys. in a transit. So what the fuck is up with all the fucking shit, man? I don't know what they have, like, what is this tight ass security, but trust me, man, weed is legal in Canada. That, like, who the fuck smuggles there anyway, you know? Anyway, just as a side note, I go to the plane, I'm flying in, I'm going to Canada, I fix my fucking visa last minute, I get on the plane, I sit down at my seat. Now, there's this fucking midget and his girlfriend, and they're both like 40, 50 years old, they're sitting in front of me, okay? And both of them, they think, they think they're sitting at a hotel, dude. They think they're chilling hard. This is them, I swear. Wait, do I have a, I don't know. I think it's behind here. But they pull back their seat to the max. Like, they're literally, they think they're Snoop Dogg on his private jet, sleeping in a queen-sized bed, I swear to God. And you know me, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm pretty fucking tall. I'm like 195 centimeters, that's without the hair, before you ask. And that's without, you know, counting anything else. So that's just 195, you know, base stats, unbuffed. Then, I'm sitting there, of course, and normally when I sit in an airplane, I'm sitting like this. 
I'm sitting like this, you know? But this motherfucker is pulling his seat. So I press my legs towards like his back end. And this weak little 40 year old, he's sitting there for like half an hour, literally jumping at his seat, like trying to push it back. And then, you know, I'm cool as a cucumber, you know, I'm chilling hard, you know. So I'm sitting there chill, chilling hard, cool as a cucumber. Eventually he gets really, really pissed. And then he turns out, he's like, get your legs off my, he starts like yelling at me really hard. And I think this guy might've been Canadian. His fucking girlfriend starts doing the same thing as well. And they sit there, like, they're causing a scene. They're like, yeah, get your legs off. I'm like, sorry, man. I can't just chop my legs off for your liking, man. He's like, well, then you should fly business class. I was like, well, you're the one who wants to sleep like it's, you know, like you're at the fucking Hilton. Why don't you go business class then? Huh? If it's so goddamn affordable, why don't you do it? You know, and then eventually, it kind of, like, windowed down and nothing much happened off of it. But that guy was Canadian, I think, and he was rude. So there you go.